It is time to bring in Dr. Judy Workman. It is Food for Mood. Judy is the co-author of the Serotonin Power Diet, serotoninpowerdiet.com. Also, Simon loses his tummy. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you from the fantasy world of Florida, Dr. Judy Workman. Good morning, good morning, it and it's a, so nice to hear your voice this week. It sounds as if the weather is getting better, as is your mood. No, no, in fact, we are freezing. No, we've been taking drugs to hold our We have to, oh, because, <laughs> because starting with the weather that's forecast. That's a better explanation. Yeah, it is, because the weather forecast has sort of been, um, you know, sort of, a, 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 what's what I'm looking for, encouraging, and then every day it's like being slapped in the face with a wet fish, so it's just horrible. Yeah, it, it is true. I think people must be thinking of, of where they can get lumber for their ark. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't stopped raining for, what, for weeks, right? Well, it's, it's not raining. It's just not. It's just every time it's been, and it's going to be 65, it makes it, you know, it crawls to 48 and just yeah. stands there and looks at you. Um <sighs> I yeah. am really interested in the article that you told. There's no segue here. Told, I'm very interested in the article that you wrote because on a prior show that we did today, um, Pet Paws Ask the Vet, there is a similar issue now appearing. It's not the same, but it's a similar condition appearing there in, in a spate of animal related illnesses that came out of a good idea that was then distorted along the way. Go on. About iron? Uh, close. About, uh, uh, it, it, it has to do with grain-free uh, 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 and yeah. the way that mass marketing dog food dealt with grain-free was by adding essentially, it, if, if you are taking grain, if you're removing grain from a dog's diet, Typically, it has right. to do with inflammation, and you replace it with protein, animal protein. But you, it's yeah. costly, and so the way that that was done in a major market, you know, you know is, a, is it was replaced with um, other sources of protein that uh, actually had a deleterious effect. So that's what yes. I am you know, saying I, is actually, the similarity, it's true not that because of iron, every but because time we you begin to, think, no, you, every time we begin to modify or think muck that around with our diet, diets, such as you, you know, that many people are on, would compensate, and sometimes it doesn't. And with that, no. I will leave you with your blog posting. No, you, you, you're right. I, I think um, you know what. What I really wanted to you know talk about briefly was this sort of silent source of fatigue, um, really a lack of energy, even, uh, you know, lack of physical energy, panting when you're climbing upstairs or you have to, you know, run, you know, to catch a bus or, or a subway, um, you know, looking very pale. The, these are conditions that we all tend to ascribe to a virus. I'm working too hard. I'm not sleeping enough. You know, the kids, the work, the what have you got, got me up at night. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed. That's why I'm tired, and that's why, you know, I have trouble exercising, and that's why I look so pale. Of course, it's winter. I haven't seen the sun, or spring. I haven't seen the sun, you know, for nine months. But there really is a reason behind this that many of us are just totally unaware of, and that is iron deficiency. And, and, iron deficiency, which leads to, you know, a full-blown medical condition called iron deficiency anemia, meaning that you don't have enough hemoglobin, a substance that's in your red blood cells, which takes the oxygen from your lungs, carts it around your body, delivers it to all your cells, takes away the carbon dioxide. You know, it's a sort of very simple workhorse that, that is extremely important for our, our survival. And if you don't have enough iron in your diet, or if you lose iron through bleeding, um, like if you're a woman who was menstruates in a very heavy period, or in some cases you may even have an undetected source of bleeding, as a friend of mine once did with it, uh, an ulcer, bleeding very silently for, for a year, um, or, or other problems that you may not be aware of, uh, you really can develop this, this deficiency. But one of the, and one of the problems 
of it is that, you know, it's silent unless you happen to have a yearly blood test. And, and most of us who feel this fatigue would not necessarily go off to the doctor and say, you know, please check my blood for its iron, for its, its hemoglobin status, its red blood status, because I am feeling overwhelmingly fatigued. You just don't think of that as the first or even the tenth cause of how you're feeling. Compounding all that, Jill, is that it's not that easy to get iron in your diet if you are eliminating red meat, if you are not a you know, frequent consumer of liver, which is one of the best sources of iron, or if you like seafood, octopus, <laughs> another not particularly popular dish that's also an incredible source of iron. You know, if, if that is, of those dishes that don't appear on your table at least once a week, and you are forced to, you know, go to other sources of iron. Um, and if you look at, and I, and I think in the article I sent you, sort of a list of some of the, the foods that contain iron, many, many foods do put in tiny amounts. For example, there is, for those of a, of a certain generation, people assume that spinach has iron because there was a comic strip called Popeye, uh, this sort of, well, I won't go into the description of who the sailor was. But anyway, he, when he needed a lot of energy, would down a can of spinach, something rather disgusting to do, and suddenly his muscles would pop out, and he would be able to take on what other, whatever problems of the world he had to face. Spinach is very low in iron, as are other vegetables. Um, other sources of iron are lentils or nuts uh, or dried beans. Uh, you know, hummus, for example, is a source of iron. But again, you need, if you're a woman, and you're a woman of childbearing age, which means that you're menstruating and you're losing blood, 18 milligrams of iron a day. A, a man or women who are uh, beyond childbearing age, they are beyond, they're in their menopause and beyond, they need only 10 milligrams a day. You say, well, that shouldn't be too hard to get. But most foods contain two, one, two, three milligrams in a normal serving. 18 milligrams is very hard to get, again, unless you're tend to eat chopped liver once a week or octopus. And interesting lot, most of the iron that we tend to get in our diet, unless we're on a very restricted diet, which means grain-free, here we go again, Jill, um, is fortified cereals, fortified bread, fortified uh, other, you know, grain products. Normally, iron does not appear in these grain products. Normally, uh, you know, uh, corn does not have iron, nor do cornflakes normally. Or does oat does not have much iron, nor do, you know, oat, oat bran or, or, or oat squares. But the U.S. government decades ago, realizing that we don't get enough iron in our diet, fortified these foods. So that if you had a, a cup of, let's say, raisin bran, it contains about the same amount of iron as in a small serving of liver, and probably is more palatable. Um, but you have to be aware that you need to get this particular nutrient, and, and people just don't talk about it enough. In fact, people rarely talk about it, and, and yet it, it is something that if you, if you day of, you know, month after month, year after year, get too little of it, you really are going to have, you know, the, these problems of, of, of feeling very tired. And just added to that, going on a diet has been shown to, you know, especially a fast or a cleanse, which we're supposed to be doing because it's so wonderful for our bodies, well, in about two days of being on a fast or a cleanse, your iron stores drop precipitously. Because your, blood, your body still needs iron, and if you're a woman who menstruates, or you, you are losing blood, and there's no reason to think that you're going to get any iron from a diet of lemon juice you know, and, and water. I mean, so this is something that people just ought I to know, be it's, aware of. You, you know, you're absolutely right. And it's just, it, once again, it's, a, it's, it's being sensible. You just have to be sensible. You have to know your body and be sensible. And I don't, I, I understand that diets are completely, shall we say, industrialized. It's a business, and it has been. But still, can't, can't just the basics, can't, can't, can't. Yes, and, you know, and, and the point is when you, people say, you know, I, I never take a vitamin supplement or there's a big controversy, do you really need vitamin supplements? The answer to that is, oh, if you eat a variety of foods, you should not need to have any of your vitamins and minerals delivered to you in a pill. But who eats a variety of foods these days? People eat many of their meals 
away from home. Uh, many people, because they've been told that eating carbohydrates are bad for them, another discussion that we've had for many times, will avoid things like breakfast cereal, like oatmeal or, or uh, any other kind of breakfast cereal. They certainly avoid bread because, my goodness, you might die if you have bread, not to say that you, you know, you're getting very essential ingredients in bread like iron. No, no, don't eat the bread. And then where are they getting their iron? They're not eating red meat. There's very little iron really in fish or chicken unless you eat prodigious amounts of it. So, you know, if you are really going to put yourself on a diet in which you're arbitrarily eliminating all these foods, you, the consumer, better look for another source of iron, and it may be that you should be taking an iron-supplemented um, daily supplement. Or you should be go, te- go to your doctor and say, I'm going on this <laughs> diet in which I'm not eating very many foods because you just check my blood now and make sure not anemic in a year from now, to make sure that I haven't developed iron deficiency because of the diet I'm on. But people just don't think about that, and it's so easy to find an excuse as to why I am tired. And, again, the answer may be, you know, just looking at what you're eating. All right. Thank you very much. Talk to you next week. Thank you very much, Dr. Judy Whitman, Food for Mood.